As the title suggests, I bought this Onkyo DVSP300 DVD player from a guy named John on the corner of the street. And not gonna lie, he kinda smelled like raisins and Mountain Dew. Also, ignore this box. Um, I was trying to find my adapter so I could plug in my microphone, and uh, I'm just too lazy to move it right now. Cool thing about this is that it has its sticker showing the features, so it was probably either a display unit or someone just forgot to take off the sticker. And despite that Goodwill price tag right there, I actually paid $2.49 for this. And this was manufactured in September 2002, making this unit, as of 2023, 21 years old. How about we open it up, considering it has this warning right here. Well, I'm not touching any of these screws, but I will take out this screw, that screw, that screw. Can't even angle the camera properly. That screw. And this screw. Oh! There goes one of the screws. And that screw. Here it is opened up and everything, and here's an interesting thing. There's this whole arm just to push that orange thing to hit the power. And these pieces right here, they were all making noise when I was taking off the top, so I actually thought I broke it. The display reminds me of those late 90s to late 2000s um, car radios where they would have this green... Um, the green text and everything. That was my microphone falling. Back to the DVD player. There you go, it took it a second to read the disc. I do like the spinning icon there. Here's the interesting thing though. When I hit search, that's what it does. Or uh, the fast forward on the search. When I hit the rewind on uh, rewind button on the search. Let's try a DVD, shall we? I don't remember that being on the DVD. Or is that the menu? I don't even know. Oh, okay, we're on the menu now. Okay. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, I think, uh... Oh! There we go! Okay, I'm gonna try, uh... 12. It's a little slow. But, I mean, this is... When this was made, DVDs were only five years old. So for the DVD, it just rewinds it and fast forwards it um, normally, but on the CD it doesn't. That's really interesting. Just gonna use my normal um, iPad mic for now since my microphone likes to keep falling off my bed. One cool thing I've noticed about this DVD player is that that icon right there that spins the disc it changes depending on what mode this is really cool also does it on fast forwarding here
and on rewind too. So this does play CDRs. The CDR you saw was uh, made by one of my mom's friends for me. Really good CD, I need to listen to it again. So the remote sensor is cleverly hidden in the display. And you can see that there's more uh, words there for various settings. And if I had this hooked up to the TV and I had a uh, universal remote or even the original one, I could probably access some of those. Well, that does it for today's video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.